Okay, first things first. I assume you already know how streams work, but we're gonna go through it anyway, all right? So for starters, let's make a base effects stream and we'll call it no smoke, okay? You can always obviously type in Merv streams print to make sure that your base effect stream has actually been input correctly and it has no smoke. Okay, great. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add two action filters, okay? And then I'm also gonna show you another way to do this. There's actually two ways to remove smoke, okay? And then as a bonus, I'm gonna show you how to draw it on a green screen. Okay, so we're gonna type in Merv Streams, edit, no smoke, action filter, add, quotes, particle, backslash, Vista, smoke, V1, backslash, Vista, smoke, v1 underscore smoke grenade quotations space no draw okay cool so let's actually preview this stream to see how it looks so far with that one command all right cool so we're missing smoke right we actually just have to now remove that little circular area around the smoke that's left okay and in order to do that actually all you have to do is just press up arrow right we're going to scroll over to smoke grenade we're going to delete smoke grenade and we're just going to type in fire okay press enter and look that ring of smoke is now gone okay cool so it is now completely gone from the stream. But here's the problem. Look what happens. It still appears when you go into the area that it used to be. It still has that smoke overlay. So in order to get rid of that, there's actually a very simple command. All right. So it's Merv streams edit no smoke smoke overlay alpha factor zero okay great so now we can go in where that smoke used to be and it won't cover our screen okay great that was one way let's show you the second way now okay there's actually an additional way we can do that so let's do merv streams preview end so we did this so we can now see the normal view right and let's actually make a new base effect stream just so we can start clean okay so let's call this merv streams add base effects smoke two okay okay now that we added it let's actually preview it too so merv streams preview smoke two okay so now we're previewing smoke smoke two okay so now we can see everything that gets applied to it as it happens in real time okay cool so let's put in the first command okay so it's gonna be merv streams edit smoke two action filter add x space okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in name equals particle backslash vista smoke v1 backslash vista smoke v1 underscore forward slash and then your wildcard string your asterisk okay so what this is going to do this is actually going to apply this action filter to everything in the particle this is smoke v1 this is smoke v1 underscore folder now there's actually like three things that you have to apply this command to but because we put this wildcard in it applies it to everything okay so we're saving ourselves a little bit of typing okay great so after that asterisk we're going to type action equals no draw okay cool did you see that everything just went away automatically because we applied this no draw to everything in this folder. So we'd have to type three things to get it all to go away. Now, in order to remove the smoke overlay, we already did this, right? But we're gonna do it again, just so you guys can go through the motions, okay? So we're gonna do edit, smoke two, smoke overlay alpha factor zero. Okay, cool, awesome. So look at that. We have no smoke. 
Now, if you really want to get fancy and you don't like that there's a smoke grenade here, right? The smoke grenade kind of looks weird with no smoke around it. You can use the picker tool to actually remove that. And I'm going to link the picker tool tutorial down below in the description so you can check that out and learn how to pick this grenade and no draw it from your stream, okay? All right, cool. Now let's go over how to draw smoke grenades on green screens. So let's start with making a green screen first. So Merv stream add mat entity, we'll call it E, okay? And then we'll preview E, all right? So do you see how the smoke grenade made it onto the green screen, but the smoke did not, okay? Well, I'm gonna teach you how to draw it onto the green screen. All right, and it's super easy, all right? So all we do is type in Merv streams edit E action filter add X, and we basically just type in that command that we typed in last time. And if you remember correctly, it's name equals particle backslash vista smoke v1 backslash vista smoke v1 underscore forward slash asterisk action equals draw. Okay? And voila. We now have our smoke on the green screen. So there's actually some, some good reasons why we wanna draw smoke on the green screen a lot of the time, okay? So smoke usually lives in a world stream, okay? In the world map. And what a world stream is, I'll show you real quick. Is this, okay? It's a stream, but doesn't have player models. So there's a, there's a CT actually right here, I'll show you. You see how the CT is there and a world stream removes it. It's just the world, no entities, no players, okay? Now, the smoke usually lives in this world stream, right? Well, if we record an entity stream with players and smoke grenades and guns and we put that on top of the world stream, it's going to appear on top of the smoke. You're going to see the player through the smoke, right? And that's, that's going to look weird. That's bad. We don't want that. So you want to draw the smoke on the entity layer, on the, on the green screen layer, because then you'll get the proper layering of, of entities and you won't see players through the smoke, okay? Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to remove... Yeah. Hey folks. Thanks. I don't, I don't know what that was. That was... Hey guys. Uh... Hey folks, today in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to remove smokes. You already know that, like that's why you clicked on it. Why would I have to, why am I reiterating what you already know? You're not dumb.